Hey guys! So, um, I almost contemplated the idea of restarting Restart, um, but I think I'll just kind of give a quick summary of our DBC book so that, um, because we're not super duper far in it, um, but this will just kind of give you a summary in case you're not in Dobson Book Club but you want to share the book with us. So, our main character's name is Chase, and Chase. Um, has fallen off a roof and we don't really know why. We don't know what he was doing up there. Um, he's uninjured except for his head and he hit his head pretty hard and he has amnesia. Um, and so that's kind of where our story begins. Um, Chase, we find out through some other characters, Chase has been like the biggest bully in school up until this point. Chase is a jerk. Um, he just really enjoys just bullying people to the point where one of the characters had to leave that school and go to a different school. Um, so Chase is definitely not someone that um, everyone likes. Um, he does have some really good friends on the football team. Aaron and Bear are two of his good friends, um, but they're basically get into um, doing a lot of these horrible things to people together. So those are his friends. He has no memory of this. Um, and he's kind of appalled at look, kind of looking back and seeing how people view him because he doesn't recognize that person. So we know that at, at this point in the story, we know that he has a lot of people that hate him. He's got some really good friends that he's trying to learn from and figure out who he is. Um, but there's just so much that's a mystery to him. One of the characters that he has really kind of connected with is a guy named, uh, named uh, Brendan Espinoza. And Brendan is a member of the video club. And this would have been a guy that Chase would have hated and would have bullied and probably did bully in his former life. Um, but now he's just kind of talking with them and and Brendan doesn't really know how to react to this. This is so weird to him. So Brendan has this great idea and this is the chapter that we just, um, we were in the middle of D DBC last week. Brendan has this great idea. He wants to do a video. We don't know exactly what the video is about, but no one will help him with it. No one on the video club. They all say he's going to get in trouble. Don't do it. This is stupid. Chase is like, okay, I'll help you. So that's where we're going to pick up right now. Chase has decided um, that he is going to help Brendan with this video. Let's find out, okay? So I'm in the middle. This is actually page 47. I am in the chapter six, which is titled Brendan Espinoza. And if you remember, the chapter titles are, the, that's the character's point of view. So we're in Brendan's point of view right now. When it changes to Chase, we'll have a new chapter that will be called Chase Ambrose. Um, so we have Brendan here. Let's find out what he's going to do. And um, will there be trouble? It's fine, Mom, I soothe her. Chase is helping me on a video project. Uh, good to meet you, Chase introduces himself politely. She's tight-lipped. Oh, we've met. I get Chase out before Mom says something I'll regret. We head downtown, taking turns, alternately riding, pulling, and carrying the trike. Oh, remember, they're going to take a tricycle. We don't know why, though. Um, our destination, the shiny bumper car wash on Bell Street. I hand him the school flip cam, and he goes off to distract the attendants. Chase is even better for this than one of the vidiots. Oh, they're, all right, that was that term that I said. He's not really being mean, but he calls them the video club members are vidiots because he's a celebrity around town, not just a star athlete, but the son of the last star athlete. Plus, everybody's heard about his accident over the summer, so all of the attention is on him. That leaves me free to sneak around the back and put on the headband with the other camera mounted on it. 
a go waterproof GoPro I brought from home. Sneaking ahead of the next car, I pulled the tricycle on the conveyor, bracing my wheels against the tire block that moves video vehicles through the washing tunnel. Then I sit down on the trike, reach up to the camera, and hit record. My heart is pounding, and I'm tense with anticipation. This is it, the moment of truth. All right, so it sounds like they're taking the tricycle into the car wash. Yikes. All right, here we go. The conveyor pushes me, and the first blast of water hits. It's all I can do to keep from screaming. It's ice cold. Considering the research and planning I did to get ready for this stunt, I never, never occurred to me that they'd use cold water in a car wash. I take hot showers. Why wouldn't cars? The frigid blast has my heart beating so fast it's practically popping out of the top of my head. I try to tell myself to get used to it, but it's not possible. I'm hyperventilating to the point where I can't get any air in. Just when I'm about to pass out and topple off the trike, the water stops. Gasping for breath, I glance over to the observation area. Sure enough, there's Chase filming. I experience a surge of relief. The only thing worse than going through this would be going through this for nothing. My reprieve is short-lived. The soap is next, pelting down on me like wet snow. The only, they only know two temperatures on here, cold and colder. Two gigantic spinning brushes come at me in robotic arms. I'm vaguely aware that my glasses are gone, but that's not important though. I reach up and confirm that the GoPro is still strapped to my head. Out of the corner of my eye, which stings now from the suds, I see that Chase is still following along. He's hysterical with laughter, but the camera's steady in his hands, and that's the main thing. The rinse cycle, more hyperventilating. Hello, Eric. I screwed you up, I'm sorry. It's fine, I'm gonna keep rolling with it. <laughs> Thank you, honey. No, I already got it. I figured it out. I am now, I'm trending on YouTube now. Really? I got three hits on my video. Oh my god, that's amazing. You're going to need to edit all that out. <laughs> no, I'd be fine. The kids will enjoy. Okay. All right, I'm going to keep rolling here. Eric is working from home as well. Big happy family here. Uh, it's not important, though. I reach up and confirm that the GoPro is still strapped to my head. Out of the corner of my eye, which stings now from the suds, I see that Chase is still following along. He's hysterical with laughter, but the camera's steady in his hands, and that's the main thing. The rinse cycle is next more hyperventilating, followed by a blast of wind that threatens to hurl me off the tricycle. Actually, it's great. It's the dryer, and it's hot. Even better, it means I'm coming to the end. There should be a light at the end of the tunnel, but I can't make out much. I lost my glasses when the, when the brushes did their thing. When the door lifts, I pedal out of there, nearly running over Chase. He never stops filming, not even when the manager turns off the machinery and comes to chew us out. Very stupid, Ambrose, he yells. Is this your idea of a joke? You could have gotten him killed, you know. This isn't the first time you've put people in danger in this town. I'm surprised. You didn't have a few cherry bombs left over. I'm calling the cops. It isn't Chase's fault, I managed to croak. It's mine. I have very little strength left, but I have to speak up. The whole thing was my idea. It's my video project. I talked Chase into helping me. So they are automatically assuming it's Chase because he's got a reputation. Remember, your reputation enters the room before you do. Um, so they think it's Chase because he's been known as a bad kid. Brendan? The manager squints at me. I guess I'm not that easy to recognize. Soaking wet and half dead and my skin all slimy. I think I got the wax treatment in there somewhere. Is that you? Why would you do such a crazy thing? I'm the president of the video club at Hi Hiawassee Middle, I supply. Adults always cut you more slack if they think something is for a project for school. It does the trick, especially when I promise to put an ad for the shiny bumper on the club's yearbook page. Sure, I get yelled at, but at least no one's talking about calling the cops anymore. The manager even sends one of his employees into the me me mechanism to rescue my glasses which are undamaged, except for a small crack on the right lens. I head back to my place. I'm riding the trike, mostly because I'm too weak to stand. Chase carries the precious cargo, the two cameras with the footage on them. Sorry, Chase, I mumble, contrite. I didn't mean to get you in trouble. 
He cocks an eyebrow. Looks more like you got me out of trouble. All I did was tell the truth. The whole thing was my idea. The guy was ready to have me arrested, he insists. Well, I tell you, that's the most... I, well, I'm sorry. Well, I tell him, that's mostly because of your reputation. Oops. Mm, that's your old reputation, you know, you for stuff you probably don't even remember doing. In my depleted state, I'm not thinking straight. I'm digging my grave with my mouth. He shakes his head. My reputation wasn't what made the difference. That was all yours. You must be somebody pretty special around here to get that kind of reaction from a guy who runs a car wash. I'm blown away. My record as a nerd and a goody two-shoes never seemed like much to me before. For sure, I didn't. Com it didn't compare to Chase's athlete, bad boy, big man on campus. But it was my reputation, not his, that got us out of a jam back there. At my house, we managed to sneak upstairs without mom getting a look at her baby boy in such a state of disrepair. I'd never be able to convince her that Chase didn't do it to me. A bully palooza where I was half drowned in the river and had my glasses smashed by a ball peen hammer. I can barely bring myself to take the time to change out of my wet clothes. That's how anxious I am to see the footage we shot. I keep expecting Chase to lose interest and take off, but he hangs around and he starts to sink, it starts to sink in that he is just as into this as I am. We watched the video from the GoPro first. It's pretty insane. A blizzard of flying foam and torrents of water and a lot of whimpering. Uh, I wasn't aware of it at the time. I might have been trying to yell for help, but I couldn't form actual words. I was also thrashing around more than I remember. It's a miracle I stayed on the trike. The best part is when the brushes come. It's as if I'm being attacked by two whirling monsters from where the wild things are. Next, we play Chase's footage from the viewing area next to the washing tunnel. There I am, clinging to the tricycle like it's the only thing keeping me from floating away into outer space. When the freezing cold water hits, my entire body writhes, belly dancer style, only at triple speed. And when the powerful dryer's on, you can actually see my skin pushed up against the bone structure of my skull. It's pure gold. And I have to say, there's a lot of credit that goes, for, goes to Chase. He's got a real knack for camera work. We laugh until we're falling all over each other. It's definitely more fun to watch than it was to go through in real life. I show Chase how to piece the video together on my computer, intercutting footage from both cameras for maximum effect. For example, when you see the GoPro image flying all over the place, then jump to me jerking and flailing, struggling to keep my perch on the trike. It's even more hilarious because it explains why the picture inside the car wash is so wild and chaotic. Chase catches on quickly and adds some good suggestions of his own, like a split screen of both cameras when the spin brushes come in. At last, we set the whole thing to music, Ride of the Valkyries, and upload the clip to YouTube. It, we give it a title, How to Clean Your Tricycle. Brendan Espinoza and Chase Ambrose, co-producers. I kid you not, he actually thanks me when I include him on the credits. We watch it on every device in the house. The computer, our phones, and an iPad. We even Chromecast it to the TV. It doesn't get old. If this video won't go viral, there's no justice in the world, or at least on YouTube. He's still laughing, and I see him out. That might be the most fun I ever had. I swear, he's like a kindergartner who's just been handed the world's most intricate balloon animal. Without thinking, I reply, how do you know? You've probably forgotten most of the fun you've ever had. He looks surprised for a few seconds, and I figure I'm about to get his book bag in the side of the head. Then he says, good point, but it was still awesome. Me and my big mouth, and I can't leave well enough alone. You know, we've got a video club at school and you'd be a natural with your camera skills. We could really use you. That might be the dumbest thing I've ever said aloud. Chase and his football buddies have made a career out of terrorizing kids just like the idiots. Recruiting him is like inviting a shark out over for sushi. He grins at me. When's the next meeting?
All right, so we're on chapter seven, which is Shoshana Weber. So remember Shoshana, um, her brother was the one who was so bullied by Chase that he left to go to a different school. So Shoshana hates Chase. Um, she's the one that dumped the yogurt on his head, the frozen yogurt. Um, so we will we'll get to chapter seven um, a little bit later. But um, I I can only imagine the video. I, I'm, if they made a movie of this, I'd love to see the scene where they're in the car wash because I think it'd be hysterical to see the GoPro footage of the the car wash going you know as he goes through. So that's that was pretty funny. Um, interesting about the reputation so chase's reputation almost got him in trouble meanwhile brendan's reputation got them out of trouble so kind of cool all righty my loves i will talk to you soon and um i'll probably put a couple chapters up so that if you want to go ahead you can if you don't you don't have to um take care be well wash your hands cover your coughs bye guys